On the 23rd of September, the Center for Labor and Social Studies class shared a video of Owen Jones. It, he said Ian Duncan Smith and the Conservative Party had waged war on the poor. The barrister Jolly and Mom later said it was wrong to describe the government as waging war on anyone. There were several problems with his assertion. The one that really sticks out is that Mom himself has, you guessed it, previously described the Tories as waging war on the electorate. Class war in the video for class, Joan said, like one man in Scotland, who's half paralyzed, half blind, could barely speak, found fit for work, the day after the letter arrived, he died. And his 13-year-old son wrote a letter to Ian Duncan Smith, the cruelty of that man. Edwin Jones 84 at class reception at So glad at Faiza Shaheen is running against him. Picked at twitter.com slash jjlom 6 j 9 gf class at class think tank September 23, 2018 Jones and class are far from the only people to speak out about the Tories' war on the poor and disabled. On the 24th of September, the Canary reported that the UN is opening its fifth investigation into the DWP. The UN has previously accused the DWP of grave and systematic violations of disabled people's human rights. Track record it turned out Mom is actually guilty of using this sort of rhetoric he's now deriding. Jones himself pulled Mom up on this. This captures a common feeling that's developed in the past few years among those who've yet to feel austerity's impact. Mom is far from the worst for this, but there's a constant suggestion that the problem isn't austerity and its effects, the problem isn't the Tories and their murderous policies, the problem is how people conduct themselves on Twitter. This puts those affected by austerity in a double bind. On the one hand, the Tories are driving them to death. On the other hand, if they vent their rage, barristers, minor celebrities, and newspaper columnists will call them trolls who are ruining politics. To many, it's out of sight, out of mind. Before social media, it was easy to pretend the victims of politics were just statistics. Now that people are standing up and fighting against what the government is doing to them, the comfortable classes are just as disgusted by the rabble as they are by the Tory party. Seriously? People had several criticisms of Mom's comment, thousands of disabled people died after being declared fit for work. I wouldn't call that a war, it's far crueler and more cowardly than that. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash e key 93 ash sarkar the day o caesar september 24th 2018 the iraq war by 2016 resulted in 179 dead uk soldiers 120,000 have died so far to austerity that's 66,939.1 percent more uk citizens dead by austerity than iraq so yes, the important thing now is policing people's language. HTTPS colon slash slash t.co slash liant John Shaftower at Our Light Terrier September 24th, 2018 It's not so much a war in the traditional military sense as a systematic, prolonged, intentional, and thorough attempt to murder as many people as possible via bureaucracy. That's hardly any fucking better, Joe. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash revubert anarcho bobcat at anarcho bob September 24th 2018 messaging sometimes it's right to criticize rhetoric. But we're at a point now where one report predicted that Tory and Lib Dem austerity killed 120,000 people and counting. So how does mom think we should describe austerity? Somehow, I don't think you're going to fit stop the Tories from visiting profoundly wrong consequences of the financial crisis on those WHO don't deserve IT, please, on a placard. And that's, even if it was a consequence, rather than a choice to transfer wealth from the poor to the rich. Having a clear message that cuts through is important. The unavoidable issue is that people are dying. If you don't think 120,000 dead is at war, that's fine, you don't have a clue what's going to stop those people dying, though, so step aside and let people with bigger concerns than language do the work. 
Get involved, read more about CLASS, the Center for Labor and Social Studies. Read more from the Canary about the DWP and its grave and systematic abuses against human rights. Support the blog's universal credit sufferer and the poor side of life. Also, follow I Was a JSA Claimant, Benefits News and Paula Peters on Twitter. Get involved with Disabled People Against Cuts, DPAC, Fighting for Disabled People's Rights. Check out articles on austerity and just look around you to make your own mind up. Join the canary, so we can keep holding the powerful to account. Featured image via Brian Minkoff, Wikimedia, Jolly and Mom, YouTube.